Um, the open kinetic chain uh, action is to extend, adduct, and immediately rotate the humerus. Um, but this is a very, very important uh, global stabilizing muscle, uh, not only because it crosses from the lumbar spine into the humerus, so it attaches or it, it combines the shoulder mechanics into the lumbar mechanics, but it also combines the lumbar mechanics into the pelvic mechanics by way of the fascial continuance between one latissimus dorsi and the contralateral uh, gluteus maximus. And that fascial connection occurs most strongly between the L4 and S2 segments. Okay? Um, that particular slate is obviously very, very important when you're thinking about rotational type sports. So let's say that you're golfing, for example. When you rotate in this direction here, you're going to need length in your latissimus dorsi on this side, as well as length in the gluteal fascia on this side in order to allow that rotation to occur and allow internal rotation to occur on this hip. When you follow through this way, when you're golfing, you're going to need the exact opposite. You're going to need length in the latissimus dorsi on this side now, as well as length on the contralateral gluteal fascia in order to allow enough internal rotation of the planted hip. So it's a very, very important uh, biomechanical connection between latissimus dorsi and the uh, contralateral uh, gluteal fascia, as well as the latissimus dorsi and the glenohumeral joint. So when you're doing very, very heavy lifts, in order to um, stabilize the glenohumeral joint, latissimus dorsi also comes into play when you're deadlifting. So when you're deadlifting, you have a good arch in your back, you're going to engage that latissimus dorsi, which is going to keep your shoulder blades back, and then you're going to go into the lift. So you have stability in your shoulder, stability in your uh, lumbar spine, stability in your pelvis. So there is the insertion.